I'm headed to a bus stop. There's a bus here, 5250, that's gonna take me all the way back to where it started in Taipei. There's a university hospital there that's apparently pretty good. Maybe they can give me some answers or some steps in the right direction to get this thing fixed. You know, it's the best time to go to the doctor when you're feeling in the middle, in the midst of the problem. You could say, check this out. Damn it, but right now, because I slept last night, my body recovered a little bit. I just hope they can detect it. I go to the doctors, they say you're fine. I get back on the trike and my what issue starts overreacting and then all of a sudden, I'm all the way back at square one. Today is a scorcher. Really hot. Anyways, let's get on the bus. Uh, actually, Wayo to go uh, take the train to, to, to Taipei. Oh, you to do MRT? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. I waited for that bus forever. It never came. So I decided to just take a taxi to the airport, and I'll take the airport fast train. It's like half the time anyway. You know what? Maybe before I go too far, I check out the medical center here at the airport. Maybe they can give me some guidance as to where to go uh, when I go to the hospital. All right, that clinic didn't really have a lot to help me. They do more family medicine and like lower end stuff, whereas I need maybe something a little bit more aggressive. Onward. hospital I'm going to is right next to Taipei Main Station. It's supposed to be a pretty big one. It's like a university hospital. But I hear it's busy, crowded. And I'm going to be trying to muddle my way through just communicating with people. It's not going to be fun. So join me. Alright, so I've registered and I have an appointment at 1.30. So, I need to kill a little time, have some lunch, and then return here at 1.30. Got a Starbucks. I'm gonna coffee, waiting for my appointment. I finished yesterday's vlog, and uh, I'm watching this, this day yesterday. It was so nice, it was so good. It was hot, but it was fun. And uh, I realized, like, I didn't indicate that I had all this pain going on the whole day. <laughs> like, I'm watching all these videos, I got this permagrin, I got this, like, really positive attitude. And, and there was, like, a few scenes where I'm like, you can't tell, but my hand is actually pressing down on my, on my groin, trying to subside the pain. And I'm just kind of, like, putting on a, putting on a face, you know? I was actually happy. I was actually really excited. I was just thinking maybe this was this was something that was going to go away by the end of the day, but it kept getting and persisting. And for those of you that might think, well, this could have been a pulled muscle or something, I I actually pulled my hamstring yesterday. I know what a pulled muscle and, and strained muscles and knees and all those things are. I, I actually have a very good idea because I have those, those sort of issues. But this one was. Not that. And this one is something that, you know, I've had to deal with for a while. Anyways, I'll stay here for a half hour and then uh, head back to my appointment. They set me up with a surgery department, but I think that's people that deal with hernias are, are people that work in surgery. So. It's just tough getting through the language barrier. That's why it's always nice to go with Annie or, or go with somebody that knows how to translate and pass on the meaning. It's also kind of nice to be able to handle something on my own. Maybe I can, you know, do this one on my own and, and get some answers. I just finished my appointment with the surgical doctor. And he said, 
you don't need an appointment with me. You don't need an appointment with the uh, urologist. It's kind of funny because when I met the registration people, I said, I probably need an appointment with the urologist. And they said, no, no, surgery. And I said, well, I don't think so. And they said, I think so. And so I uh, let the experts choose. <laughs> the only problem is they don't have an appointment today. I have to come back tomorrow, which means I gotta go back to the hostel, crash for another day. I have a feeling this is probably gonna be about four or five days before I can get any concrete answers. But it's a step in the right direction. And I'll tell you what, this, this hospital, it might be a little crowded, but it's not bad. Not compared to a Chinese hospital. Chinese hospitals, insanity. This was very quiet. And after I registered and went through the process, I can do it again much easier than it took, took now. Can't really give much information other than um, I, I've taken the first step here. I'm gonna be doing like these hour trips, two hour commutes every day so I can get this thing done. But they're not that expensive. You just take the subway. It's like 10 bucks every time you wanna go back and forth. I don't wanna go back so early because that place has like virtually nothing to offer <laughs> as far as <laughs> anything other than a bed and a chair. But I do need to finish some vlogger one-on-ones. I have a few projects that I can work on while I wait and all my gear is ready to go. So it's just, just now a waiting game. One of my worries is that in these two days that I won't be riding, my body is gonna revert back to like its comfort zone and the pain might go away. Maybe whatever's causing me this thing will subside. When you want something to show, it doesn't. And when you don't want it to show, it does. I'm hoping that if I do get these tests and they come around to checking me out and the test should show there's something wrong, but there's nothing wrong at that moment, I'm gonna get, you know, the loop around. And I'll say, you're fine, go back on the road. I go back on the road and suddenly I'm not fine anymore. Maybe I should do like, like 200 squats tonight and <laughs> a bunch of a bunch of cycling I'm just around the airport around and around and around I ate an early dinner maybe I'll punch out a vlogger one on one maybe that's what I'll do during these down days. Hostel life is funny. This is a this is a totally empty hostel actually. There's one, two, three, four, five, six bunks. I'm the only one here. I don't know if that will last, but for the time being, I got this place to myself. Me and Ryan were traveling in Sumatra and I think we were up near Dumai or something. We were up on the north side of uh, Sumatra and we stayed in a uh, the scariest hostel I've ever been. <laughs> it was crazy. I uh, kept everything I owned very close to me because I was worried there were people. It, it was like sort of like an insane asylum set up and people were snoring and, and, and talking to themselves and I really felt <laughs> like shit. I slept on a top bunk and the ceiling was like right here. I remember the space was like limited, but here I've got like my stuff there. I've got my stuff splayed out. So I'm gonna let you go. Uh, tomorrow we have an appointment with a urologist and uh, I don't know, I'm gonna do a bunch of squats and stuff through the whole day. The appointment's in the afternoon, so I don't necessarily have to leave here too early, but maybe I will. It's This, this area is literally right next to the airport and. Or maybe I'll just go and hang out at the airport, which I yeah, got Starbucks and stuff. Anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Um, let's get this party started, right? <laughs> Gosh. Next time on the Jio Vlog. Behind me is Taiwan University Hospital. I says, so how much is the charge? He says, 4,000 US. Okay. It's funny though, the first thing he said is you need to adjust your lifestyle. You need to stop riding the bike. 